Facebook, YouTube, how y'all doing? Uh, been a while since I made a video, and uh, honestly, I really wasn't planning on making one tonight, but I uh, talked to a friend of mine, the Jedi Mafia, and by the way, let me, give, let me give him a shout out before we get started. Yo, Jedi, I'm glad to hear everything's going okay for you. So keep on keeping on, and things will fall in line, and you'll be just fine, all right? Okay, all my best to you, brother. God bless. Okay, uh, there is a video going about online, and uh, this professor at Georgetown, uh, yeah, it's Georgetown, I'm pretty sure it is, he is a professor of constitutional law, and uh, it really baffles me why these people that, uh, to put more merit toward their own opinion, they have to put their titles toward them. Well, I'm no professor of constitutional law or anything like that, but I'm going to make a response to the video this guy made. Apparently, he thinks that it's in best interest of everybody to scrap the Constitution. Yeah, you heard me. To scrap the Constitution, go ahead and get rid of it, to give up on it. Let the Constitution be a thing of the past, be a museum relic, be a memory. Anyway, we talked about this for a little while, me and the Jedi Mafia, and uh, I told him I was thinking about making a video, and he said, you should, you should make it tonight, and let me know when it's done. Alright, so here we are. In response to uh, this fellow's thinking that we should throw away the Constitution, I looked up a copy of the Constitution I brought it up on the screen. Now, to the liberals, to the people that want to see America become a tyrannical socialist country, the government involved in every aspect of your life, they might be willing to give up this precious document that protects law-abiding, America-loving, Americans that get up and go to work every day to earn honest money to feed their family. But you don't have to be a member of the military to realize the importance of the Constitution. Now, I'll be the first one to admit in, in, uh, grow, in school growing up, it was just another lesson that was, that was, that was being taught, something they had to learn in order to make that a passing grade. But as I grew older, I realize that these rights and liberties that we have are what separates us from other countries. Our economic program may not be the best right now, and our administration and government is by no means the best. But what we have is a document forged by our forefathers that people have died for protect. Not a bunch of, it wasn't written by a bunch of dead guys that no longer matter right now. So these were our forefathers that wanted to put the power in our hands, the people, to shield us from a tyrannical government. Does that sound familiar? Like the one we have right now? To protect us, to, kick, to keep us from being overtaken I guess the uh, biggest argument right now as far as the Constitutional goes is the interpretation of the Second Amendment. Now, I'm not going to read it off to you. You know what it says. But anyway, this is just another attempt by the, by the liberals, by the left-wingers, fueled by the liberal media to take away our rights. By not by, well, by saying that the, doc, the uh, Second Amendment was meant for hunting, sportsman, sp sportsman activities, sports and hunting are nowhere, nowhere found in the Second Amendment. 
which leads to the point that the, the Constitution is not a living document that can be interpreted for today's modern times. It was written the way it is. Leave it the hell alone. The Constitution is what it is. It is very, very viable, even for today. So, what I'm saying, this uh, constitutional law professor, you can go to school and get your degrees and learn the Constitution frontwards and backwards and learn all the loopholes how to convince people that the Constitution is a bad thing and that we don't need it anymore. But what they can't teach you in school is what the Constitution means to us, the people, especially here in the South. Bring your opinions down here and try to force them down our throats. I can put a ticket in your hand to come down here and preach your constitutional hate. And there is no way you can allow yourself to come down here because we're just not going to put up with it. It was a bunch of farmers that finally decided they had enough and went to war. And that's how America eventually became a free nation on account of those farmers that were willing to sacrifice everything for a free nation. And now these people that want to take the Constitution and throw it away, that's just one step toward total control. People, listen, I make a lot of crazy points in these videos, but this is one thing I want you to understand. Please listen to me when I say this. As Americans, as people that believe in the Constitution and know it's, know it's the what that it needs to stay where it is, the backbone of America, it is our right not only to admire and enjoy and live for the freedoms that the Constitution gives us, it is our right to stand up and defend it. I ain't saying go join the military, but do what you have to do to let those that question your actions, let them know where you stand. The Constitution, the Constitution is what has held America together all this time, and as divided as we may be on some issues, I believe the document that was forged so, so long ago that bonds us together within the, the realm of freedom and liberties, I believe that's something we can all agree on. So, I'm going to try to find the, the link to the video and put that in the description of this uh, video. And also, I'm going to see if I can find this guy's email address. And I want you guys to watch this video. Guys, email this guy and ask him what in the what in God's name are you doing saying we need to get rid of this? Get rid of the Constitution, give up our rights and liberties? Let him know that's not gonna stand. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Be a proud American. Let them know this is our country and we will fight for it. Okay, guys, that's all I've got. Feels good to get in front of the camera again. Until next time, guys, God bless you. God bless America. Keep your ammo dry. Keep your weapons cleaned. We'll see you all next time.